Hi everyone, so we've been talking about isotopes, now we're going to talk about something called allotropes for this lesson, and you'll need your notes for this. We're going to talk about the definition as well as some examples that you'll see. So allotropes are the same element but different arrangements, and since they have different arrangements, they'll have different physical properties. So two examples down here are of carbon. So we have um, one form of carbon is graphite, so that's actually what's in your pencil, it's not lead, it's actually graphite, and another example are diamonds. So graphite. They're actually um, carbon atoms, and you can actually look at the structure. Those are carbon atoms all arranged in sheets, and there's multiple sheets layered um, one right after the other. So as you're using your pencil or writing with your pencil, you're actually shaving off sheets of carbon atoms and layers of the graphite. Um, they have a black or grayish color, or graphite has a black or grayish color. It's soft and can also conduct electricity. It's made of 98.89% carbon-12, and 1.11% carbon-13. So those are two different isotopes of carbon that would, are in graphite. In diamonds, they're going to be colorless, uh, extremely hard, and they're also used as good insulators. So instead of being in sheets, they're actually in networks. So every little point that you see, those would be a carbon atom. So instead of, um, again, coming off in sheets, they're uh, arranged with one another. All the carbon atoms are attached to another carbon atom. If we look at the composition, it's also made of 98.89% carbon-12 and 1.11% carbon-13. Don't worry, you don't need to memorize those. Um, but I just wanted you to see that the composition is the same between graphite and diamonds, but because they're arranged differently, their properties are completely different. So some other some examples that you will need to know. Carbon has, again, two forms, or two allotropes, one of which is diamond and the other is graphite. Two allotropes of oxygen are oxygen, O2, that we breathe in, and O3, which um, is uh, ozone, and then we have phosphorus. We have red and white versions of phosphorus. So if you actually look at the head of a match, you'll see that it um, has like that red tip to it. That's actually red phosphorus, and that's actually um, able to ignite very quickly. So again, just want you to know the definition of allotropes. They're the same elements, the same isotopes, um, but they have a different structure. Um, and because they have a different structure, they have different physical properties as well. Have a great day.